A few months ago, I decided to try stacking for the first time, which meant some clues and some types of keys, and it turned out to be a lot of fun. I got the Occult Ornament Kit, the last jewelry kit I needed from Masters as the most notable item. So I wanted to do more stacking projects. Lately, I've been focusing on stacking clues from beginner to elite clues because those clue tier log slots are absolutely barren. I did most of those clues before the log. Once I stack all 500 clues, we will open them to see how many log slots I can get and maybe even get my first ever third age. I'm super excited to get this project done. Now, this project turned out to be far bigger than I expected because 100 elites is not easy to collect on an Ironman. Passively going for elites by doing my usual bossing goals with some AFK skilling combined, it's just not going to cut it. It would just take way too long. For example, I could get 100 beginners all the way to hard clues done in a fraction of the time it would take to get 100 elites. So I needed to do more for elites, which made me cook up this idea of green logging barrels on the way to 100 elites. So in today's video, you'll find out how many elite clues I've gotten on the way to green logging the barrels log. In the next video though, we will be finishing the remaining stacking prep and finally open all 500 caskets. But this video is all dedicated to the elite clues and the barrels grind that goes with it. Many years before the collection log, I did finish barrels and I stopped at around 1000 KC. This was actually quite lucky because the average rate of completion is around 1600 chests. But the elite clue rates are about 1 in 29 chance per barrels run, assuming we kill all 6 brothers. Which is why I thought green logging barrels would be a great way to get a lot of elite clues because it will only take me about an hour and 20 to 30 minutes to get a clue which is some of the fastest rates that is possible when getting from scratch on the iron this means that if i complete barrows at a rate of 1600 kc then that would be around 55 elites a big chunk this took place in a span of a few months so sit back and enjoy some barrows plundering for many, many years, I just had an Aram's top for the collection lot because I was doing a master clue that involved the barrels and I accidentally opened the casket, which got me that. I also did a few hundred barrels runs recently right before the clue scroll grind that I'm working on. And I managed to fill a bunch of items as you can see here. I need to kill one more guy so I can get the bolt rack chance. Oh, wait. All right, come on, give me some bolt racks so I can get this log. Oh, okay, skirt. Hell yeah. Already got an item, boys. Two out of 24. Let's go. Oh, I finally got it. Bolt racks. A freest log slot ever. There we go. All right. No more killing minions now. So we can actually do this extra fast. Oh, got the skirt. Let's go. Another slot. Slots for days. Let's go. That's th three slots already. Oh, Derek's top. Oh, my God. God, we are getting so many drops. Let's go, dude. We're filling the log, boys. We're filling the log. All right, let's check out barrels. Where's that barrel slot? Look at that. Dang, it's starting to light up. It's starting to glow, baby. Oh, Jark's Helm. New item. Hell yeah. Another new item. Let's go. That's uh, that's like number six unique today. Holy crap. Darks again. Oh, that's my max. 80. Oh, Aram's Hood, unique item. Yo, even the Aram's Hood feels good. Oh, got this out? Oh, nice, new item. Let's go. Oh, Frog's Bazaar, new item. Oh, Tribe's Body. Oh, unique item. Let's go. Another one. Oh, what? Holy shit. I had not seen a double barrel suit in a long long time and one of them was unique the arrows robes let's go so this session of barrels grinding i did end it with a torax helmet there was also a Karos crossbow that i forgot to record but i managed to have it saved through rune lights in just 200 barrels chest i basically half completed all the barrels uniques the last half though is going to be significantly harder because there's going to be a lot less Barrel times to get, so we're gonna have to probably go into the thousands for this last half. 
Pharaoh's log slot number 15 to 19 was never recorded on video, so I never showed it, but luckily RuneLight kept track of all of it through the screenshots feature. So yeah, shout out to RuneLight. Over 100 barrels chests later, we see our next unique. Before we continue any further with the epic barrels grind, let's talk about our sponsor real quick. Looking for a fun game to play that is easy to get into and have lots of content? Look no further because Raid Shadow Legends is the game for you. Playable on both PC and mobile, you can collect over 700 champions and commend them through various PVM and PvP content. I definitely appreciate the auto battle features as it allows me to make some good progress with loving my champions and getting resources. There's so many ways to improve your champions from different types of gear to different skill upgrades and blessings. Let me introduce some of the best raid champions through a game called Kiss, Marry, and Kill. I would kiss Tator Rhymehide on the forehead because he is a very loyal and tanky beast that will protect me in any dire situation. I will also marry Venus because she is incredibly supportive class with insane versatility and her name is symbolic for love so I can't say no to that. And lastly I would kill the ultimate death knight because as the name suggests he's already dead so I don't feel so bad about that. There is a free legendary champion Sung Wukong. All you've got to do is log into raid on 7 different days between August 22nd and October 23rd. Also, if you click my link or scan the QR code right here, you'll get a free star pack with this cool in-game loot. Set out on your new epic fantasy adventure and become the best warrior in raid. Click on that link in the description to get started and I will see you in the dungeons. Oh, yes, let's go. Unique item, Aram Staff. The only time I've ever been happy about a, about a freaking uh, Aram Staff. Let's get it, let's get it. That brings us to five items left. There we go. All of Aram's is filled. Thank goodness. Oh, Karo's though. Oof, that's tough. Two items. One, two, three, four. And the last unique that I got from Barrels was Rex Flail. Before, of course, I returned to stack some elite clues through Barrels and finally complete the log. So that leaves me with four items left to complete Barrels log. So let's see how many elite clues I'll get on the way to finishing it. Wonder what happens first, 100 elites or full bears completion? Let's find out. It wasn't really challenging up until I realized that elite clues were going to be so hard to actually stack. Because if I want to get even 50 elite clues, like I said, that's going to be at least 1500. And that will still leave me with 25 more that I need probably from just other places. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to try my best to do, try to do an hour or two a day. Oh, there we go. Only clue scroll. Very nice, guys. Okay. All right, we're going to stop here. Yeah, I'm going like pretty good efforts. 24 an hour. So just like maybe a minute 10. An hour and 10 minutes to get the elite clue. But it's probably going to be like an hour and 20. Because I'm definitely going to start slacking off. Aram's Hood. First barrels item since coming back. Honestly, I've been noticing my soul room stack is going by really, really quick. And I don't really have enough time, unfortunately, to go make runes for the shadow uh the soul runes specifically and i really cannot be asked buying soul runes from shops it's uh very annoying to buy soul runes to save time i think using a trident is actually going to save me more time if you include the prep time that it would take to supply the shadow i'd rather use the shadow nightmare 1500 barrels with shadow will definitely burn through the souls too fast so well, as you can see death runes i have so goddamn much i'll never run out uh soul runes on the other hand i got these are precious. I had like 400k. Um, it took years to build. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting low on this. But chaos runes, death runes, no problem. And barrels is basically going to infinitely supply me those runes anyways. Because I get them anyways. So yeah, the trion will self-replenish itself. The only thing I got to worry about is fire runes. Just got to buy some fire runes from the store. Uh, very easy, very uh, chill to get. Uh, also Zora skills as well. Magic Fang? Yeah, exactly. I have a bunch of these. Honestly, 1750 is good enough for the first day back. I'd say our goal is to get at least one Elite Clue done a day. But I'll try to go for two, honestly. Try to go for two, but at least one. At least one, because sometimes RNG can be such a bitch, so. Oh, I got the clue. Let's go. The second one, boys. 
At the start of the day, that means we can be ambitious and go for it. Maybe two. Not streaming today, so we got more time to fit it in. Let's go. It's nice. Oh, Jarvis Great Axe. Oh, it's not a collection log. Oh, yes. Yo, new item. Let's go. Holy shit. Let's go. New item. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just got to get the body of Guttons, Carol's Top, and Carol's Coif. And we get green log, baby. Now, the problem is, I still have to do, like, 1,300 more uh, barrels chests to get even 75 elites total for my 100. So, uh, I kind of hope I go dry-ish. Because otherwise, if I green log this, I don't want to just do barrels purely for elites. Oh, I got the elite clue. Let's go. Great start to my day. Okay, we just did an hour of barrels with Trident. And uh, slightly improved strat here with the claw specking. Uh, yeah, it's 22 kills an hour. Pretty much the same as Shadow, I'm not gonna lie, so that's kind of awkward. I'm probably losing like literally probably just one barrel's run less an hour. Aramshood. Oh, back to back. What? Dude, I've been getting so many Carol's crossbows though. Oh my god, back to back to back? Dang it. End it. So it's streak ended. Oh, got this war spear. Oh, really? I already got that? Yo, guys, remember when this thing was like 10 mil if you played back in the uh, six hour AFK days of Old Scooter Escape? Oh my god, now it's like 100k. Sheesh. Damn, another law pick down the drain, guys. Uh, it's. It's getting kind of uh, rough right now. I've only got like what 16 left, so 2000 KC, guys. So we've done over a thousand, and this is what we got so far. I'm not even gonna bother doing the math to see if I averaged out, but yeah, we are missing three items, which is probably pretty average. Oh, yo, Aaron's bottoms. Whoa, that's three mil. Oh, but it's not a collection log. Dang. Oh, well, that's, that's cool, though. Take it's dropping a while. Speed running barrels, aka doing them efficiently, definitely has evolved a lot over time. We have far stronger gear to kill the brothers faster, and even tools to help you reach the chest even faster. Back when I originally completed barrels, I had Trident as my main weapon, and barrels teleport to get there quickly. This setup already made barrels quite fast, but now we have more things to play with. This setup has evolved to adding melee swamp with dragon claws, light bearer ring, death recharge spell, and the strange old love pick. So dragon claws with melee swap is incredible because I can usually just two shot arms or carols. Arams is typically the slowest one to kill because it resists magic. Even shadow gets splashy with arams. So claw setup really does save a good 5 to 10 seconds of run. Combined with Death Charge and Light Bearer Spear, my special regen, I can do 4 claw specials per run, meaning I can 2 shot Arams and 2 shot another brother at the end of the run in the chest room. I need this elite clue. Oh wait, are you serious? I hate that man. They need to fix that. Oh, Carol's! Oh, yes! Let's go, Carol's! I, I'm gonna jinx it now, but uh, I'm pretty sure at this rate, we're gonna end up finishing Barrow's before I get even close to denting the 100 elites. On top of new gear, I have access to a new tool called the Strange Old Law Pick. These law picks can bypass the unopenable doors in Barrow's. Each law pick has 50 charges, and each charge opens two doors. So one law pick can open a hundred doors. I typically use one to two charges per run, which lets me get to the chest as fast as possible. These law picks are obtained from looting the sarcophaguses in the Hollow Sepulchre. I managed to get around 40 Stranger law picks from the Hollow Sepulchre when I was going for the Ring of Endurance. So 40 Stranger law picks is expected to help me speed up at least 1300 barrels chests, which is really close to the average of chests i need to complete barrels this is an insane time saver and probably the biggest reason i wanted to green lock barrels for elites i've always wanted to find a nice reason to use these lock picks and i've found it finally 
legit these log picks should save me more time than the time that i was saved by killing the barrels brothers faster with all these new gear and spells Oh, Arabs? Oh man, that's a big, big boy drop though. Oh, oh my God! Yes, Carol's Koi. Yes, 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 yes. All right, guys, one left, one item left at Barrows. <laughs> this is like the first time I actually gave a damn about a Carol's Koi. If I'm not gonna lie, like it's actually good. All right, let's see, let's see here, boys. Oh ho! We got this play body. That's it. We get that, and we're out of here, guys. Twenty-four hour twenty-five. Oh my God, Derek's great axe. Making some money here. Wonder how much money I'm gonna make by the end of this. <laughs> Just curious. I don't really care. Huh? Yeah, I don't even bother killing them if they spawn early because. Ah, no way. What a scam, dude. So we only have 11 law picks left, but one item left, guys. Can we do this? Can we get the last barrel's piece, which is the Gutlin's play body before I run out of these law picks? Because once I'm out, it's going to be a little bit slower to complete the barrel's runs because I'm going to have to actually go around the... <laughs> The entire dungeon sometimes just to get to the chest so let's find out what another back-to-back -back. holy shit i've gone back to back twice already today back to back oh my god so many back-to-back -back barrels <laughs> Sheesh. might as well just show only back-to-backs at this point until we get the last slot that's crazy. Another back-to-back. -back. I'm just getting back-to-backs constantly. 2300 KC, guys. Oh, damn. All right, we're almost reaching the uh, average for all barrels since coming back. Oh, shit. I hit 2400 barrels. Oh, man. This last uh, item from the barrels is taking a but we still have 40. Actually, yeah, a little bit under 40 at least to get anyway, so... Wow, back to back. There are body, the wrong one. I need the bot, that bot, that bot, that bot, please. Oh my god, Aram's rope skirt. Damn it! Where's the chat, that buddy? 2500. Still 30 plus elites to go though, so that's like 800 Aram's chests. We'll see. Around this point in the progression, Desert Treasure 2 came out, so I basically did not do any barrels at all during the time that I was grinding really heavily on Desert Treasure 2, and I got a lot of late clues during that. Holy shit. Damn, I just did a sub two minute barrels run. I wasn't even paying attention, honestly. I was kind of just watching some shows. <laughs> you know, this kind of, I wouldn't say it's AFK, but you know, it's kind of like doing a Jody lapse at this point for me. 2600 KC. Oh, no way. Back to back into Farak Play Skirt. Are you okay? So many back to backs. Love to back to back into these Gutlin's Death Bots. Arams. Good money, though. Oh, the Gutlin's piece. Ah, dang it. It's not the right one, boys. Oh my god, Gutlin Spear, not the Gutlin's dad bot. Oh, jeez, man. Alright, guys, this is the last charge of my last lock pick. Pretty much ever, because I don't really know what I'm going to do in terms of, like, do I... I'm not stocking up on, on these ever again, unfortunately. I just had 40, right, because I, I went 600 plus dry to get the Ring of Endurance. And we don't have the Guthans dad bod. So that means we are going to have to run around the barrels room and just do it the normal way. Which is going to be a bit slow. Yeah. I uh, can't skip doors anymore. So long hallways. We meet again. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. No, no way, dude. This is the what? <laughs> what? How could, how is that even possible? The final log pick. Look at this Barrow's chest fully completed. Oh my god. 
That's crazy, man. And how many elite clues did I end up stacking? 89. So I got a bunch from barrels. Uh, I also got a bunch recently from Desert Treasure 2. So we're still not done with elite clues, but I'm sure I'll get the 11 just from grinding the Desert Treasure 2 and uh, other stuff. So we're pretty much on our way. Thanks to the barrels grind. Thanks to the green log grind for helping us get a lot of elites. Barrels is still a decent moneymaker, but obviously for me, it's kind of like definitely a, a bit too too low low level now but hey 100 million uh barrels gear alone in total i got about 40 elite clues since starting my stacking goal as i did about 1200 barrels chests in this video the rest came mostly from me working on my pvm collection on goals at various bosses like cox nightmare and a lot of dt2 bosses for their drops so the next episode will feature us opening all 500 caskets you will learn all the different ways that i utilize to get the rest of the clues so it's going to be really really interesting definitely look forward to it and if you are excited about the next video or you just enjoy this video as well leave that like and yeah i'll catch you guys later